get started. I know they have a little delay on this here feature, so I was waiting for other people to join. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you being here. I want to talk today about um, a kingdom. Hi, a kingdom divided amongst itself. It cannot stand. And I'm talking about black women and black men in the physical reality and how it relates to um, our energetic self, our spiritual self. So this video in its entirety is going to kind of be, hello, hello, welcome, Bashrich007, welcome, thank you for joining. This video in its entirety is going to be probably a little long, they had a little net, oh we got out, a little net or something was up in my car, I was letting it get out. Okay, so I'm going to start and I'm really not going to pay much attention in the beginning to the comments because this is um, High Rainbow Power. Thank you for joining. This is a video that um, I'm going to post on my YouTube channel and um, this video is coming straight from Source Energy via me to the Collective Consciousness. Um, before I begin, I'll tell you all a little bit about me if you've never heard me spoke before I am really an introverted person to be honest with you and if you know anything about introverted people they really don't speak unless they really have something they have to say <laughs> so it takes a lot of energy that gets me going on live platforms like this here to begin with I don't just come and just you know just to be seen just to be heard but I will explain it to you like this and maybe you better understand where I'm coming from with this delivery we are energy. Outside, you might see um, a black woman on your screen and you might resonate with that, especially if you are black, you might feel like you understand me because we look alike, so to speak. But the larger part of me, I'm just energy. I'm just frequency, I'm just vibration. I'm not really a black woman. I'm re not really a mother. I'm not really a lady. <laughs> I don't really have a job and a house and all these things. Inside of my mental, I have a mental that's connected to all knowing, infinite intelligence. You call it God, so it's energy, the creator, creation, the universe, whatever you call it. But that is what I am. The larger part of me is that. <laughs> and so, I'm saying that to say that when I have something to say, me in this physical reality, I'm, I want you to understand what I feel right now, how I feel right now. Right now, I feel a powerful force of energy that got me in the car talking to you all when I really do have other things to do. And with this force comes... Um, a free flowing of energy of the breath it feels like the breath of life and in my ears right now collectively because I'm used to it I could understand it but collectively it feels like a whole bunch of people talking to me at one time it feels like a whole bunch of energy like as if I have something to say I've been experiencing this here for a long time I never really told anybody actually this is my first time saying that some people might think this is weird, but um, I have come to terms with this being a message from Source Energy, my God creation that needs to go forth to the masses because it is time for us to ascend. And so the topic today is going to be a kingdom divided amongst itself. It cannot stand. And I was prompted, Source Energy led me to a TikTok video of a little young lady yesterday, last night matter of fact, I was laying down in the bed in this young, young lady video. And she was saying, hey, I went before the court to um, get a restraining order for so-and-so, and the judge didn't award it for some reason. And um, I just want you all to know that because, we well, hold up one moment. Yeah, we have to hey. get them all. Oh, a detox? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, baby. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. That's one of my neighbors trying to get a detox. I make detoxes too. So anyway, the um, <laughs> the lady last night, she was talking about the, um, the man she was trying to get a restraining order from. And the judge did not award the restraining order for her. <sighs> and she was saying simply, if something happens to me, if I die, this is the man who killed me. 
And I looked at that and I was like, wow. I looked at that in the physical and I looked at that in, in the spiritual, in the physical, I, I already knew, I already understood. I'm introverted, I sit back and even introverted people sit back and pay attention to the big picture. I already knew, you know, know where this this momentum of energy going you know it is time for us to rise you know we're no longer the tail we're going to the aquarius age to be the head you know the seasons are changing but when i saw this lady <laughs> my heart went out to her because in this physical reality in this physical reality i've experienced women being her just like i have experienced and seen men i'm not on nobody's side here because all is god being hurt too but this lady hurt stood out to me because i have a person who like a sister grew up with me was murdered by her own husband the masculine energy in front of my house in front of my in the driveway actually of my childhood home a kingdom divided amongst itself cannot stand i'm saying that simply because all is god collectively all is god when we have yin and yang we have god on each side if i had a quarter and i had heads and tails the quarter represents god god just expressed itself at different frequencies but a kingdom if the quarter is on the head instead of the tail divided against the tail it cannot stand so before I even go on, I need you to understand this one thing about your higher self, the collective consciousness where you stem from. We in the physical reality have this thing called an illusion of separation. And the illusion works like this. <laughs> There's a law called the law of polarity. The illusion works by you thinking that you are, or God is on one side but God cannot be male if God is not female God cannot be <laughs> yin if God is not yang God cannot be the beginning if God is not the end God cannot be the author if God is not the finisher so there cannot exist in the physical reality woman without man it cannot exist the hot without the cool you getting this here cannot <laughs> exist the, the black without white the illusion comes in when there's the separation because at the end of the day all of this all together represents God in its totality but today on this particular video since I am acting like a human a black human a black lady I'm talking to black people I'm talking to the black women and black men who seem to not understand that all is God and God in its kingdom is fighting amongst itself. Somebody wants to be right and somebody wants to be more powerful and somebody wants to be the leader. But God, this energy of God that I'm talking about here is the most powerful form of energy there is and it resonates and vibrates on a frequency called love. See, one might want love one might want respect one, one might want validation one might want all kind of things in the physical reality but one might be looking for love in all of the wrong places because god is love god is love and so i'm gonna start i'm gonna start with the men here because i always talk about talk to the women today i want to talk to the men in the beginning but i'm gonna get to the women too because they represent god themselves too collectively black women and black men we have some trauma issues and we can bring we can go on this particular live to the source of this trauma we gonna go back from lifetime and lifetimes and generations and generations because we are the ancestors righting our wrongs and so we have some trauma you know like when we're a baby we just we just like a sponge and we just milk up all of the hurt and the pain and the trauma so I'm gonna start with the men, men, some of you. Some of you have some hurt and some trauma. Some of you use your physical against the woman to beat her, to dog her, to disrespect her. To not love on her and appreciate her because you gotta understand that she's God too. 
And I feel as though this happens because at the larger part of you and deeply rooted inside of you, you don't love yourself. But we're going to go into this here because of the simple fact that I say you don't love yourself because how could you not love or selectively love black women and don't love the others, you know? Because like selectively you all love your daughters, you all love your mother. But how about loving a woman that's not related to you and respecting a woman that's not related to you? The collective consciousness is on the rise, but you must honor thy mother and thy father. In the biblical text, even though I'm not religious by far, I am spiritual and I understand that there are hidden jewels in that text. You must honor thy mother and thy father so thy days shall be long upon the land. But the black woman is your mother. And some men have watched their woman, or their, their mother rather, maybe divorce their father. And some of those men hate their mother because of that. Who do you think you are? And they carry that hate. They carry that. Or better yet, some of them watch their father beat their mother. And in turn, they, they as a sponge, they picked that up and they chose to be that type of man. So beat is what they know. That's what they look at as love and they carry that on from lifetime after lifetime, generation after generation. Hats off to the man that saw those type of things and decided, no, I'm not going to be that man. I'm going to be a better man. Hats off to that man. But we have men in the physical reality that are hurting and hurt people, hurt others. A kingdom divided against itself, it cannot stand. So you take it out on the black woman. We have people supposedly on platforms that have hundreds of thousands of views and disrespect women. Calling women bees and out of their names because they're 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 not a certain they're not a certain age, they're not a certain size. You gotta understand that there's an illusion here, and when an illusion exists, somebody has to be ill. You got to understand that the black woman has to be ill. She has to be if she's seeking for validation and looking for love in all of the wrong places. I'm going to show you in the physical reality how I further know that she's ill. Look at the medical industry. Look at the black women in your circle that maybe have uh, problems with their ovaries, problems with their cervix or with their menstrual cycle. In the physical, when a black woman could go to the hospital simply because her side is hurting, <laughs> end up getting her ovaries taken out, end up getting her partial or full hysterectomy, that in the physical lets you know that something about her is ill. Collectively, the energy of the womb, the womb of the woman is ill. <laughs> and anything that shows place or, or shows face in the physical reality stems from the spiritual first. So that means she has been ill for lifetimes and lifetimes and it has just manifested in the physical reality. She ain't just get this way. We can say that it is the food. We can say that it is the estrogen mimickers in the food, but it is not. It is because collectively in the spiritual realm, she has been sick. So understand this, men. If your mother was sick, if your mother was at her lower self, would you sit there and call your mother a stupid bee? No, 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 no. It is that pivotal moment that you should be able to embrace your mother and, 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 and love on her and give her the attention that she needs. Yeah, because she needs it. And I'm not trying to be harsh on men because I love me some black men. But I understand that you black men are hurting too. A lot of you all get on a platform, y'all want to talk about, you know, being a good man is this and being, but yeah, it is after, you, you want to talk about it after you have drugged so many through the dirt. <laughs> and now you will say, you will boldly say, oh, I can't be, I can't do that to black women. I can't treat no other black woman bad. I have a daughter now. <laughs> I have a daughter. Oh, since now it is near and dear to you, now you want to do the right. 
hats off to you for becoming a better man. But it took place after you drug so many others through the dirt in the beginning. And so energy is not destroyed. It's simply transformed. So, so now that person's hurt. Those women's hurt is hurting other men. And the list goes on and on. And it's a rinse and repeat. And then there's the woman. Who didn't have her father. You're not exempted from this video. Because. Lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. You think all men ain't shit think all men gonna leave your ass just because daddy left your mama a kingdom divided against itself it cannot stand and so this is trauma your womb is suffering the womb the portal of life is suffering but at the end of the day, the black woman and the black man is gone. God experiences it, experiencing itself in human form, having a human experience. God, supposedly, since God is love, supposedly vibrating on the love frequency in the physical reality, coming forth for the experience to experience itself as being love, it's at its lower self and instead it is choosing to hate. The woman in the physical reality, she's so busy trying to get the bag. And so she is developing an emotional tactic where she could become divine feminine and become vulnerable to get the bag and get the things in the physical reality that she needs so she could turn around and hate the black man because deeply rooted inside of her, she still has that trauma from the little girl that didn't have a father. That now can't trust any man. That now really to the court can't love any man, can't even love herself because God is love. The little boy who's mad with his mother because she didn't raise him. Maybe she wasn't there. Maybe she was on drugs. Maybe grandma had to raise him. He's secretly hating his mother. So he's secretly hating every other woman in the physical reality moving forward. But God is love. Neither one of them are acting out in their full capacity of what they came for in the physical reality to do. Because one is trying to get the other. One is trying to conquer. But God is love. So how can this kingdom that's divided amongst itself stand? The only way it can stand is if it remembers, it remembers that God is love. So we have some trauma. We have some trauma. But we had a pivotal moment in the physical reality that a lot of us are not going to make it to this new age in this same avatar suit. We're going to have to die out. <laughs> the universe is purging from this here. This, this little story right here, this little back and forth stuff is old. This here little back and forth hating each other is old. That's going to be the tale. Something else is about to become the head. And so if you, if you, you, if you understand anything about energy, you know it's not destroyed. It's simply transformed. So you can get exited out so that you can be maybe born again, come forth in another form, in another avatar. Because it, it, it's starting to become redundant. And this is what the new age or the new season, the Aquarius age is really all about us rising to our higher self and our higher self reeks on love frequency. And so I would ask of you a favor, black man. And I would ask of you a favor, black woman. That you could just pick. If you could just pick one woman, black man, and you, woman, pick one man in the physical reality. Now, black man, I need that not to be your daughter or your mother. 
or anybody related to you. And black woman, I need that not to be your son or your daddy or any man that's related to you. I ask that you both pick one person in the physical reality that is not connected to you, which really we all are connected. Love connects us all. But you know what I mean. That's not a relative that you could just love on them because this is the thing about energy. Your energy of love can cause others to do the same and the same and the same. See, we have a lot of things going on in the physical reality. A lot of things is get, get our focus on the most powerful healer that is. You're sitting up here and you're talking about COVID and then all it is, you got to have a mask on. Do you realize love is the thing that is the healer of the body from head to toe? Love is the most powerful form of energy that there is. Love has an electromagnetic field of energy that will quicken your energy. And the biblical text, it told you when it said, when Jesus in the allegory parable was talking about, who touched me? When that woman had the issue of blood, who touched me? It wasn't simply that he, he felt a hand. It was that in his energetic force, the light force that he brought, clear energy, no trauma, no daddy issue, no mama issue. Pure love. He felt an electric magnetic form of energy, a volt of energy leave from him. It transferred to somebody else and it caused life to be into, into her. It caused the healing to be into, into her because she had an issue of blood that needed healing and love was the thing that healed her. So I would ask of you to love on somebody unconditionally and that love that you have black man for that person that you choose, not a wife, not a daughter, not a mother, somebody outside. It's gonna cause others to do the same and the same so we can get this momentum of this energetic life force going in the direction for the collective consciousness that you stem from. And you know this physically to be true because you could sit there and you could watch a video and in, in my mind, like what comes to mind is, is India Ari, I believe it is, Steady Love. India Ari on this music video is acting as if she's in love with this black man and you could just sit there and you watch that video and it tends chill to your body because black love is just that powerful. It alone caused you to get on the love frequency instantly but just hearing the music and seeing the smiles on their face and how they interact with others. And so this is what I'm saying. We're going to cause a domino effect to happen when we do things like this. Your love is going to catch on to their tail and touch them and touch them and touch them and do the same and the same and the same to increase the frequency of the physical people who don't remember that God is love. Who don't remember that a kingdom divided against itself, it cannot stand. So you two black woman, not your son, not your daddy, love on a black man. But before I even ask you to love on them, I got to make sure that you have some love to give them because you have trauma. Woman and black man, you have trauma. And one of the, 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 they said in the biblical text, what is the greatest commandment of them all? And it is that you love the Lord thy God with all of your heart. Well, where is God? The kingdom of God who is within you. So I got to first make sure that you have some love to give because if you, you can't give nobody something that you don't have inside of you. So at this very moment, whether you are a woman or a man, we going to deal with this issue today. And I'm looking at the broader picture, the collective consciousness picture, not you just being an old merry little old woman or a little old man. I ain't talking about loving on nobody to get into no kind of marriage or no kind of relationship. There's no marriage in the kingdom. <laughs> There's no giving unto a husband and a wife into the kingdom. But there's love there and the kingdom of God is within you. So I'm going to ask you, man or woman, with your trauma self that can't love nobody unless it's your family. That can't even love yourself. That's looking for love outside of yourself when you are love. I'm going to ask you to put an end to this here. And then putting an end to this here, I'm going to ask you to put your hand, your arms around yourself. 
And black man, we're going to start with you first. You and your trauma. And black man, we're going to talk to that little boy inside of you. And we're going to say to that little boy, I'm proud of you. So what, your mama wasn't there? You did a damn good job becoming a black man. So what if she wasn't there? You became love anyway because you are love. So what? She was on drugs. So what? She didn't raise you. So what? You made it. Look at you now. I feel so proud of you. You've been through hell and survived so many things in the physical reality. And you still vibrant. You still have your energy, your inner God. And if it wasn't your mother that hurt you, I'll be that woman that hurt you. And black man, I want you to look at me as I look at you in the eye. And if a woman hurt you in the physical reality on behalf of that woman, black man, imagine I am that woman. I say to you, black man, I am sorry. Pretend I am that woman and I'm going to say to you, black man, I am sorry for the hell that you went through in the physical reality. I'm sorry I wasn't able to love you at my lower self because all of the people in the physical reality are simply reflections of one another. So black men at my lower self when I wasn't able to love you and I hurt you instead, I am sorry. <laughs> Can you forgive me, black man? Forgiving me because I simply didn't have love for myself. So I couldn't give you something that I didn't have inside of me. Forgive me please black men because we as a collective consciousness must heal. We must enter into another lifetime, another dimension, another realm. Where there's pure love. <laughs> and for you black woman that still own your daddy issue you made it daddy was supposed to leave you black man daddy was supposed to leave you black woman that's the story you picked to become a better version of yourself to become stronger, to stop looking for love in all the wrong places when you are love. Black woman, if a man in the physical reality hurt you and it triggers that hurt that daddy did to mama on behalf of that man, imagine I am that man, black woman. He's sorry. He didn't even know how to love you. He didn't even have his mother or his father. He didn't know, but I love you. And I'm going to need you to love you because you are love. And so when you realize that you are love, you don't have to go and, and try to take no bag from nobody. You don't have to go and try to hurt somebody because they did it to my mama and they did it to me. You ain't got to do that because you just love. You think somebody could hurt God? <laughs> no. When you're vibing on that God frequency, can't nobody hurt you? You think somebody could be alone in the presence of God and come forth with, with gain? No. Human nature? You can't even stand in the law alone in a room with God and survive with this powerful form of energy. Not as a human. So we really have to remember, we really have to understand to totally what we are in our larger form and who we are. And get rid of all of the trauma and all of the hurt and all of the pain. Or die. Die out. Because the frequency of this universe collectively has increased. 
And those that are lagging behind must fall out because we're evolving. We're evolving back to love, back to God. It's an energetic shift that's going on in the physical reality, but you all are paying attention to foolishness. It is the inner work that needs to be done with each and every last one of us because collectively, we are the collective consciousness. We are God experiencing itself in human form. God's being. And it comes a moment in our life, in the physical reality, we have to become accountable for our energy, our part of the story. And deal with our trauma. And I say this because I'm looking at the hierarchy of it all. It all stems <laughs> in the physical realm with that black woman. The black woman made the black man and so forth and all these other races but the black woman I need you to listen to this here because it is time for you to rise now you could sit up there on this live and say well the black man is the reason why I'm not rising the white man is not is the reason why because he took my wound and he's giving me the all this chaotic food and he's doing that that means you're not becoming accountable because when you really get real with yourself, the reason why you're not rising is because your ass ain't ready to rise. Because you didn't do your inner work. You didn't heal your own wounds. How can you be God in the kingdom? Sick in your kingdom. Hurt in your kingdom. Looking for a bag in your kingdom. <laughs> Void of love in your kingdom. It says thy kingdom come. I want you to see this black woman. The reason why you have not risen as of this moment, as of this particular day. Is because you are not ready. And I need you to get ready. Because it is the Aquarius age and it is the age of all-knowing, awareness, and for us to rise. Black man, become accountable for your energy, your energy. And you pick somebody to love. And you love yourself as well. And you cannot love yourself if you hate a black woman because you came from a black woman. It is impossible for you to love yourself and hate black women. I am not asking you for no favors of me. And I don't want you to do any other favors for any other black woman. I'm ask, telling you to do what you are. Love, black man. The black woman is not your punching bag. All that bros before hoes, bull crap is not you because you are love. You are God. And so when you see other black men, you should be accountable for them too when they're disrespecting a black woman. If all black men collectively, since they are the protectors, since they, then they have the strength, the manpower, if all black men collectively were to tell one another when they seen another tripping out, killing women and beating women, no, bro, we, we, don't, we don't do that. It'll be east, put to an end. So black man, could you be accountable? Could you say yay or nay? The black woman cannot rise until she heals. She cannot rise until her, her womb heals. Her heart has to heal. This universe is on its way to this, whether you like it or not. 
And I'm speaking life into the black woman. I'm speaking life into the black man because I love you. You are my protector. You remind me of my son. You remind me of my father. I love everything about you, black man. But speaking as a black woman, I'm gonna need you to love me back. I'm gonna give you my love. And I'm gonna receive your love too. Yeah, because your love is the healer. My love is the healer too. If you give it to me, I'll give it right back to you. And we'll always be whole. We'll always be healed. We'll always be love. And that's what we came for to do. Just be. Just be that love for one another. Instead of that trauma, instead of that pain. We've been doing this stuff. I don't know about you all that's listening, but I feel it is with all my knowing that I have been here. Lifetime after lifetime doing the same thing over, 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 over again. Aren't you ready for more? Aren't you tired of the trauma? Aren't you tired of the pain and the tears? When collectively, man and woman is God experiencing itself. The opposite, you hating your opposite, you hating yourself. When you hate yourself, that means you're hating yourselves. This is what's causing you to die. Black woman, if you hate yourself, you're hating yourselves. The cells of your body. And that which stems from it is the black man. So when you hate the black man, it means that you really hate yourself because he came from you. I want you to understand how stupid that sounds. How redundant these things are. So we can stop rinsing and repeating and doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and the end. I am the author and the finisher. Says who? Says God. A kingdom that is divided amongst itself. I it cannot stand. This video was from my heart to yours, baby. I just had to get that out. I was trying to avoid looking at the camera because I didn't want to get distracted. But we, we, we collectively, we have to do better, guys. We have to do better. We're love. We're energy, frequency, vibration. But we're the most powerful form of love energy that there is. Woman should not be afraid of man. Man should not be dogging out woman. In no kind of way. We have to set the tone of the other beings in this physical reality. When I say we, I'm talking about black people. We have to set the tone of how we should be respected, how we should be treated. And others will do the same and the same the same. Because going back to energy, our ill melanin, our dark matter, has enough power to quicken the others in the physical reality to yield to what we're doing. This is why I'm talking to you. This is why you're resonating with this particular message on this live today. This is why you have come forth. It is no coincidence. Anybody that walked up in here energetically is no coincidence that they saw me speaking even if they did not stay. This is how energy works. We collectively have to do better because we set the tone, like I said, the hierarchy with that black woman and it trickles down to all other energies underneath it in the physical. This is how we set up the matrix to go. I'm not trying to be racist here. I'm just telling you how it's going in the physical reality, how it will be in this particular lifetime. So get in your position, yin or yang, it doesn't matter, but get on that frequency. That frequency matters. That frequency is love. If you ain't there, you're you, you missing something. If you ain't there, what did you come forth for? Whew. 
All right. Thank you. Hi. Thank you all for being here. Hey, Chrome Goddess. Hi, Beer Moore. Thanks. Thanks. Yes, I will post this on my YouTube. Yes. I love my brown sisters. We appreciate that. We love you too, Beer Moore. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Thanks. Hey, Jay. I miss you, Jay. Thanks. Oh, thanks all of y'all. Big pop, big pocket. Thank you. Thank you. Speak on it. Rainbow power. Oh my God. Horrific. Thanks. I was just trying to see if they had any questions on here. I'm about to go. I had to get that off my chest, y'all. It kept me up all night. It's from a larger power. If you could understand that, it just, it's not just my words. It came through me and I just allowed it to flow to you. This video was from my heart to yours, baby. Be blessed. Be loved.